Hello, in this video we are going to solve a math problem regarding a circle. So the question will be to find the equation of the circle. I don't know if you can hear that thunder uh, in the background there, but it's thundering pretty loudly here. Uh, find the equation of the circle with diameter a b where a is equal to 1 comma 3 and b is the ordered pair 3 comma 7. Okay so with this information we have to find the equation of the circle. Let's go ahead and go through it. Solution. So the equation of a circle is parentheses x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Okay, so we have um, these two points here. So if we draw a little picture, this might make it uh, a little bit easier for you to understand. So if I do something like this, say this is a, say this is b, and here's our circle. You can see that that's the diameter of the circle, right? That's the diameter. And so uh, at the very middle, in the middle, we have what's called the center of the circle. So the center here in this formula is HK, and the radius is R. So in our particular case, the center is going to be the midpoint. So the midpoint is the center. And to find it, what you do is you, you add the x coordinates and you divide by 2. So 1 plus 3 divided by 2. And then you add the y coordinates and you divide by 2. So 3 plus 7 and you divide by 2. That's how you find the midpoint. So it's the point right in the middle, right? Because here's a and here's b. You want the one right in the middle. So you add the x's, divide by 2. Add the y's, divide by 2. Okay, so this is equal to, so this will be 4 over 2. 10 over 2. Oh, look, look at that, 2 comma 5. Perfect, right? So that's going to be our center, right? This is going to be our center. So our center is going to be 2 comma 5. So that's important, so I'm going to underline it. So now what we need is um, the radius. Well, I guess the radius is going to be half of the diameter, right? So let's just go ahead and do it that way. So I mean, there's a bunch of other, there's another way to do it too, right? You just take this back in here, plug it in here, and then plug in any of these points and solve for r. You, you could do that as well, but let's do it this way. So the radius is one half times the diameter. What is um, that? Well, the diameter is the distance between a and b. So using the distance formula, we subtract the x's, 1 minus 3, quantity squared, subtract the y's, 3 minus 7, quantity squared, right? So um, the distance formula says to find the distance between two points, you subtract the x's, you square the result, you add, subtract the y's, square the result, and you take the square root of that, and that gives you the distance between any two points uh, in the plane. This generalizes to higher dimensions as well. So, continuing in this manner, we have 1 half times the square root of. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. You, you square negative 2, you get 4. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Square that, you get 16. So r is equal to 1 half, square root of 20, 1 half, Square root of 20 is really the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Square root of 4 is 2. That's square root of 5. So r is going to be equal to the square root of 5. So we've got r, we've got our center. Recall our formula. Let's write it all, let's put it all together down here. So we have x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. And we know that the center was 2 comma 5. It's our h and our k, so it'll be parentheses x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared plus, oh, not plus, sorry, equals, equals. And then here we have r, which is the square root of 5. Well, you square that, you're just going to get 5. And that, my friends, is the final answer. That is the equation of the circle uh, with diameter a, b, where a is equal to the ordered pair 1, comma, 3, and b is equal to the ordered pair uh, 3, comma, 7. So.
that's how you work out that problem. Pretty cool, right? Hopefully you've learned some math. Um, yeah. yeah, check out my courses. Links are in the description uh, or on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com. They're on Udemy. And um, yeah, use those links. You'll get a low price and you can learn lots of math like this. So take care.